Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two tight ends, two former teammates who can stretch the defense. It's Martellus Bennett versus Jason Witten. So now let's go to Chicago, Illinois, where Jim and Phil have the call. Cowboys, Bears, coming up on EA Sports, we welcome you to Chicago, Illinois, for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Phil, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? It's always a factor, Jim, when you have good weather. Now you can call anything you want and not worry about the elements disturbing your game plan. It's a complicated game. There's no doubt about it. But it's less complicated when you have good weather. And Robbie Gold looks set now to kick it away. The Cowboys are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. This game has officially begun. He's got a chance to return this one. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Starting at quarterback, the all-time Dallas Cowboy record holder for most touchdown passes, Tony Romo. When you talk about Tony Romo, a lot of things you can say, but the guy is an underrated thrower in this league. He can make all the throws. He can throw it with power, and he can throw it with touch. First down at the 22. Man intercepted. The Bears offense is led by quarterback Jay Cutler, who has one of the strongest arms in the league. He does. He can throw it with anybody, but now, hey, can he take that strong arm and find the right guy to throw it to and just make it happen for his football team? Really good field position here to start this drive. The Bears lined up in the pistol. First down at the 31. Forte looking out wide. This is a collection of wide receivers that could dictate this game today. They must find a way to create separation for their quarterback. This next play comes from the 30. Forte's lined up as the single back. Bennett had it, but couldn't hold it as this goes incomplete. This defensive lineup boasts one of the best defensive ends in the game in Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy is always in terrific shape. That's why he can hustle from the first play of the first quarter all the way to the last play of the game. Really good outside presence from Greg Hardy. Third down now. The play clock's running down. He's drilled as he throws. The Bears don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. And this will be from 47 yards, the field goal attempt. No good. An empty trip for the offense. Anytime you try a long field goal in the NFL now, you got to know it's a risk. When you miss it, you're going to give up great field position.
the Bears lined up in the nickel. First down at the 37. Randall's going to take it on the draw. As we set now the offensive lineup, one of the most physical wideouts in the league is Des Bryant. I think he's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Des Bryant can catch the football. He can break tackles. He's so competitive. If you cover him, he can still beat you up and get the football. That's what you like to see from a wide receiver. Second and six. Randall's got it on the handle. Running room. Fuller's there to make the stop. Randall's a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. They break huddle at the 18-yard line. Second and 11. Scans the field. Touchdown, Dallas. Still three and a half quarters of football to play, but that touchdown gives them the lead here early. Yeah, no, there's a long way to go. There's no doubt it, but you gotta you got to like your situation and the feel that your football team has getting that score and being on top. And the point after is good. Boys setting up here for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. down at the 23. He'll throw it over the middle. And it's knocked down. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Second down after the incompletion. go as a drop it's way too early in a game like this in this situation to take a chance run a draw throw a screen maybe just a straight ahead run but don't turn over the football following that incompletion it sets up third and ten Throws the pass. Alshon Jeffrey with the catch. That's his first reception today. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. Cutler comes out in the pistol. First down and 10. Matt Forte gets it here. 
Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. the Cowboys with a nickel look Come here on, on defense. Back. Second down and 11. Crawford gets to the quarterback. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. Can they overcome the sack? Third down on the way. The Bears come to the line. First down marker is at the 48. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. He's hit as he throws it. The Bears put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. The Bears will have to punt. He's got a chance this time. Tackle down at the 47. That returns good for about 13. The Cowboys coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. First down at the 47. Foster's all over that offense and brings him down. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped. Second down coming up. The Bears' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. Beasley with the reception. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. That's his first reception today. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Advancing it now inside the 40. First down here after the completion. Finds his mark. The Cowboys now move the chains. Play this uh, cover three defense. Just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern at time? Randall's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First down at the 26. Escobar with the reception. Jim, if the receiver is open, throw him the football because here's just a good example. When a guy catches the football short, if he can just break that tackle, they can pick up those extra yards. Good job by the quarterback and receiver that time. Let's see how they back up the big play here. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. Romo runs it in for the touchdown. And, Phil, what about Romo's ability running the football? Jim, Tony Romo can truly do it all. He's mobile in the pocket. He can make all the throws. And if you make him, he will take off with the football. That time he, he did, and he got it in the end zone. Nice run.
The Bears are ready to return the kick. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Cowboys defense got tested on that last drive, but eventually it led to a punt. Yeah, it was an awesome job by the defense. They really did a lot of things correct. They hustled. They played hard. That is the cornerstone for any good defense. And as the first quarter comes to a close, we'll take a short break before the beginning of the second here in Chicago, Illinois. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Gatorade, born in the lab, proven on the field. The Bears still driving as the second quarter gets underway. Forte lines up as the single back here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They break through, tackle them behind the line. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. On the way, third down. Cutler steps back into the gun. Going deep. With the contact, the ball comes out. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, it can make a big play. They're in punting formation. Beasley's got it on the return. And that's a gain of 13. Des Bryant marching back onto the field now. It's been a slow start to this game for him. He hasn't been the receiving threat that we're used to seeing, but his team leads. Shows you how many weapons they have on the offensive side. You're right, he has not been a weapon. He is playing poorly, but they're winning the football game, and that's what's most important. Tony Romo will take it right from the center. The Cowboys have it at the 39. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. The Bears sat at the line. Dime package. Robo's got it in the gun. Tony Robo connects with Des Bryant. That's his first reception today. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think his talent, the way offenses are designed, and the rules of the NFL, it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. Get ready. Get ready. Now first and ten. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. Right, it's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. The Cowboys come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Allen's the one who made the big stop. I'll say this. If you're in a situation like this, third long, and you're winning here, if you throw the football, fire the coach. And I'm just saying that because I don't think there's any chance they're going to throw the football in this situation. This is third down. Romo's all by himself in the backfield for this snap. From the gun, Romo. Surveys. And Jared Allen's going to bring the quarterback down.
Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. And so now they'll bring out Jones to punt. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds. Trying to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Bears have failed to come away with points on three consecutive drives. Their offense takes the field again now. What's caused them to go silent here, partner? Listen, let's give all the credit to the defense. They're being very creative on the defensive side. The coach is calling the right plays, and they are just taking it to the offense right now. The more aggressive team is winning, and that's the defense. The Bears have it at the 24. And that's good for only a yard or two. Cortez never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, well, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Second and eight coming up. Hey, Matt Forte lined up in the backfield. Comes down with no, the defender tips it out. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. The Bears need to get to the 34 for a first down. The catch is made by Alshon Jeffrey. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The Bears will go for it here on fourth down and a short yardage situation. The Bears come out in a jumbo set. The Bears have it at the 34. Forte's tackled down after a gain of five. The Bears do a really terrific job picking up that fourth down play that time. It gives them an emotional lift. And look at the defense. They are down because they gave it up. With two and a half minutes to go before halftime, it's a first down. Double tight end formation. The Bears have it at the 39. Intercepted. Tackles made. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. The Cowboys stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they've got to change the tempo of this game. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Tony Romo is going to take it from the shotgun. Middle of the field and incomplete this time. Well, when you get the situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches the defense by surprise run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. The Cowboys snap it at the 31. Looking across the middle. The touchdown, Dallas Cowboys. Witten's second touchdown of the game. Tight ends are a position where you got to be able to do it all. You got to be able to block, run routes, and you got to be able to get in position so you have a chance to catch the touchdown pass. Good job of the tight end. Touchdown.
the Cowboys for the point after. Makes the PAT. The Bears will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21 to 0. They're setting up the return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. We've hit the two minute warning here in the first half. We're back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning in the first half. <laughs> the Bears' offense back on the field, trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with it first when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. The Cowboys come out in a dime package. First down at the 19. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Everybody's back out on the field now after that defensive timeout. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. The Bears come out. Jumbo package on the field. Cutler's on the move. They're going to get him here for a sack. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space. And sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Right. The Bears from the 27. Makes the catch, but didn't get the feet down. Incomplete. It's now second down. Jay Cutler from the shotgun. Unable to bring it in. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back's able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down, man, that's just gravy. The Cowboys' defense now is going to go nickel. The Bears from the 27. The handoff to Matt Forte. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Cowboys use another timeout here, and they have one left. The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. Be 
easily. He's going to look for space now. Games 12. The Cowboys have to be pretty excited about the way this game has opened up for them as we near halftime. Well, I know they love the way their offense is playing. Now, on the other side, you've got to do something different on, on defense. You know, it, there's a rule that says you can blitz if you want to. You don't have to sit back there all the time and be so passive. The Cowboys are looking good so far, Phil, and a lot of that has to do with the passing game. Romo's been on the mark to this point. He has. He's one of the better throwers in the NFL. When you give him time, like he's had here so far today, he is going to put it right on target. Stands in the pocket. Beasley's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. Romo's completion percentage, 60% on the day. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Now let's get to it. The Bears trail right now, but with another half to play, there's time to turn it around. The Cowboys came in prepared for this game, and it shows in the way they've played. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Cowboys on offense early in the first. Randall's able to get away with a stiff arm. He'll end up running for over 20 yards on the play. Same drive. The pass is complete near the sideline. And a quick three-play drive ends with the score. Cowboys land the first punch. Cowboys have it at the seven. Robo's going to look for space, and he'll go in for a score. That puts them on top by 14. About halfway through the second, Cutler's got to rush the throw, and it's intercepted. McLean's is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drive. Offense now with the shot after the interception. Romo's going to find his mark, and this play will go for six. The Cowboys up now by 21. So that's it for us. We'll go back now to Chicago for the start of the second half. 